Hello and welcome, Hello and welcome to High Grammatic. My name is Gebhard Markgraf, and we are in the presentation room at High Grammatic. Today I would like to demonstrate the easy and fast maintenance on the heater element steam generator, heater slim. Before I begin with the general maintenance of the unit, I first need to make sure that the water is drained from the unit. To do that, I first take off the cover and activate the drain pump. Now all the water should be drained. Before I approach the unit, I will of course make sure the unit is disconnected from the power supply and protect it against being restarted. After the unit has now been disconnected from the power supply, I will check for voltage disconnection at the main contactor. To do that, I take the mains tester and check the three phases. There is no current applied, thus reassured I can approach the unit. Please note at this time the display is still illuminated. It is battery backed and will shut itself off automatically after a little while. Before I continue on this left side, I will check and see if the cylinder is no longer hot. That is not the case, so I can touch it. The next step is to disconnect the system connectors and then loosen this clip up here. Afterwards, I can pull the steam hose up and out. I reattach the clip on top so the whole thing is secured there and I have my hands free to pull out the steam cylinder. Which I will now demonstrate. Before we begin with the cylinder maintenance, please make sure you have a sealing kit at hand. The kit contains two O-rings. The O-rings are used for the one part on top to connect the steam hose adapter and for the other part on the bottom for the base connection. Lastly, we have the flat seal which is the seal we use here for mounting the heater package. Cleaning the cylinder includes three components. The first component being the level sensor. The second component is the heater package. And the third is the cylinder itself. I will start with the level sensor, which I will disconnect here. And we'll disconnect these two connectors to the thermal cutout. The level sensor detects the water level so the unit can switch operation at the right times. The level sensor does not have a separate seal. The upper part is made out of a synthetic material and seals it here directly at the base. To clean the level sensor, please only use a sponge and make sure the ends over here have a metallic sheen because that is where the measurements are taken. And then, of course, clear the gasket area of all mineral deposits. You could use a rag to do so, even use a little cleaning solution with some acid content, but not above 10%, to then rub the area clean so that ideally all deposits are removed. And like I said, it is important for the context here to have a metallic sheen. The second component is the heater package, located on the side here of the steam cylinder. To do so, we unscrew eight nuts with a number eight wrench. So this doesn't take too long. I have prepared a second cylinder. I will get it. As you can see, on this one, the nuts have already been removed. I will pull out the heater package, which looks like this, and um, it will show signs of mineral deposits depending on the operational state. To loosen the deposits, I could use the shaft of a screwdriver and gently tap on the coils. Not too hard, please. Due to the tapping, first parts of scale will loosen and will probably fall off in pieces. And should this be unsuccessful, there is always the method of using a rag 
to rub the coils clean or to submerge the whole thing in a container filled with a cleaning solution, leave it in there for some time and the deposits will then come off. That's all regarding the heater package. And then of course there's the steam cylinder itself. During operation the steam cylinder will also show signs of mineral deposits. And to clean the steam cylinder simply take a brush and clean it from the inside out, removing as much of the deposits as possible. Well that would be the maintenance and cleaning of the steam cylinder and its components. To reassemble, we simply reverse the order of steps taken to disassemble. In doing so, please make sure to replace the heater element's flat seal. And when you put the new seal on, please make sure the base too is cleaned of small bits of scale. This surface can attract mineral deposits as well. Please remove any deposits from there cleanly, so we don't have any bits of scale remaining. I would replace the new flat seal here, afterwards slide the heater package back in and screw the eight nuts back on. The next step is the level sensor. Please make sure to insert it all the way up to the stop, like so. Then the seal is truly tight. And don't forget to reattach the connectors to the thermal cutout. Before I can reassemble the steam cylinder, I need to remove the old O-rings from the base and the steam hose adapter and insert new ones. Then attach the steam cylinder and please make sure the wire for the thermal cutout is towards the back and is not pinched during assembly. It is now attached to the base. Then I remove the clip here and attach the steam hose adapter and finally the clip is placed back on top. Then I can reattach the system connectors and with that the cylinder is reassembled. After I have reconnected the power supply, I turn the unit on let it run for 10 minutes and check and see if I can observe any water leakage anywhere. And when everything is sealed, I put the cover back on, can lock it up on top and the unit is ready to run again.